team, today we're gonna to be doing an awesome experiment. We're gonna be taking different gases and we're gonna be putting them into balloons to see how big of a combustion we can make. But don't take my word for it. There's only one way we can find out. Let's get to testing. All right, so the first part of this experiment is gonna require us to uh, get some hydrogen gas. Now, we've done this experiment in the past. Uh, we've lit up some hydrogen balloons, and so we're just gonna run through it again, and um, that's gonna be the first part of our experiment is creating this hydrogen gas. So what we have here is we have a bottle, um, we have some water, we have some lye, some sodium hydroxide, and then we have some aluminum foil. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be taking this sodium hydroxide, dissolving it in some water, and then taking out some aluminum foil, uh, crush it in little balls, put it in here. What happens is the sodium hydroxide reacts with the aluminum and we get sodium aluminate and hydrogen gas. We're gonna be capturing that hydrogen gas and then we're gonna light it up. All right, so here's our hydrogen gas. I'm gonna go ahead and light this up. Okay, that was pretty awesome. What we just saw there was the hydrogen gas catching on fire um, and sort of exploding out of the balloon. But what's really confusing um, is that it kind of looks like a big fireball, but what's actually happening is this. Our match is coming underneath of the balloon. It's peeling away that balloon. Then the, the hydrogen gas is mixing with the atmospheric oxygen and then the fire is still going and then it is catching on the hydrogen gas once it's mixed with the oxygen into this big fireball, boof. What's really interesting is that the hydrogen gas has to, has to actually mix with the atmospheric oxygen first in order for it to become like explosive, for it to actually light up, to become this big fireball. So that, that sort of then, you know, sort of poses this question. What would happen if we just lit up pure oxygen gas? All right, so for this next one, the way we're gonna harness our O2 gas, um, it's something that we do very often. It's the same ingredients that we use for the foam fountain of science, which we've done. So many times, I even did this on America's Got Talent. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this hydrogen peroxide, put it in here, we're gonna add some potassium iodide, but what we're gonna leave out is the soap. Um, we're leaving out the soap so that the O2 bubbles don't get caught up in the soap and create a bunch of foam. Um, this one uh, also happens very quickly, and so I'm gonna go pretty light on our materials here. I'm gonna go slow. Not too much. Whoa, that's a lot. See, reaction happens so fast. Ooh, getting a little fizz over there. Didn't take much. Okay, all right. Getting crazy, getting crazy. Well, there's one way. You get a lot of oxygen gas very quickly. It's there right here with a bunch of oxygen gas. We're gonna do the exact same thing. Now remember, the hydrogen gas by itself wouldn't light without the uh, mixing with the oxygen in the air. So um, that's, that's really what gave it that big boom. All right, here we go. Huh. What? I'm just kidding. So this is a perfect example. I led you guys to believe that it was gonna be super crazy and that it was gonna be explosion, ba -ba, because the hydrogen mixed with the oxygen and it was like big flame, and like it couldn't be a big flame, fireball before the oxygen. But how crazy is this? Pure oxygen gas, not flammable. What? You're like, Nick, no, you're the science guy. You're talking crazy talk. No, oxygen, is, a, is an accelerant. What it does is, is it actually makes a flame burn hotter or bigger or an explosion be bigger. Uh, so oxygen by itself, however, is, does not catch on fire. Um, you can actually take a stream of oxygen straight out of an oxygen tank and you can just point it forward and if you light the other end of it, nothing will happen. And this balloon was a perfect example. That balloon was pure oxygen gas and as you saw, nothing, nothing happened, nada. Zip zero zilch. So, now this begs the question. What if, 
what if we mix that hydrogen gas with this oxygen gas that is this so-called accelerant? What we're gonna we're gonna do here is we're gonna be creating a hydrogen oxygen mixture. We're gonna go with purple. Beep. That's all I need. Lord, it's crazy. Good lord. It's so crazy so fast. Good lord. All right, so here's the next part. Now this part's gonna be really interesting. Um, it's gonna be really difficult. We wanna combine these into one balloon. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little line, I'm gonna tape it off, and then we're gonna undo this, we're gonna cut it, and essentially uh, try to get this in here. It's not gonna be easy. Let's give it a whirl. Alrighty, here we go. Hydrogen and oxygen. Uh, Watch out, kitty. Kitty. Nice! Okay, so we went ahead and reviewed the footage, and what we saw was a a combustion that was brighter and it seemed to happen faster. It split the, the balloon apart a lot faster. Uh, and the sound, it wasn't this billowing out, you know, big fire flame kind of thing. It was a real short, quick, snappy kapah. What we learned is that by adding oxygen, you get a combustion that is brighter and faster. And, and, and actually, uh, what we were trying to do, what we were trying to attempt, we were trying to get the perfect ratio of a combustion with oxygen and hydrogen that creates a sonic boom. Now, there was no way for us to actually measure this um, because we would need a high-speed camera to see the actual shock wave uh, created from our balloon. But I think we got really close. We at least made a, a better, a brighter, a louder combustion by adding oxygen. So let's just go over the things that we learned. One, we learned that oxygen gas by itself is not flammable, but rather oxygen is actually an accelerant. So it added to a flame, added to something that is already burning, uh, will make it brighter, uh, it'll make the combustion bigger and louder. Um, hydrogen gas is very flammable, but when it combusts, it is uh, traveling slower than the speed of sound. If you combine both oxygen and hydrogen together, you can actually get something that is so powerful, so big, that it, it actually, the, the, the combustion of it is faster than the speed of sound. It creates a mini sonic boom. This combustion, by the way, is also the same combustion that is used in hydrogen fuel cell cars. Um, so when, you're, when, you're, when you have a hydrogen uh, car, it's actually being com it's combusting on this mixture of hydrogen and oxygen, which I think is pretty cool, um, because what ends up happening is then, is that the only thing left over is just just water, uh, which is really clean. So we kind of, we actually made hydrogen car fuel in our backyard. If you like this video, go and give us a thumbs up in the comment section below. Let me know, were you surprised that oxygen gas by itself does not combust and that by mixing it, you actually get a bigger, brighter, uh, louder combustion. Um, and if you love science, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys really soon.